Welcome to this GoBright Administrator video covering mapping. During this video we will walk through adding elements to a map and linking to created resources such as desks, rooms or parking spaces. So let's get started. If I go up to my settings tab I can come down to maps. We already have two maps created, our first floor and our parking. So let's create a, another map. And this one we're going to call floor two. We then select the image. We've already used the browse button to pull in the map that we wanted from our file directory. And now I've got my floor plan on my mapping screen. Just to talk through the screen layout, we can add resources and that's going to be our desks, our tables, cars for instance. We can add icons such as emergency icons. We can enable a grid. So at the moment it's enabled and it's set at grid size 10px. So I could change that if I wanted to. At the bottom of my mapping screen you see you've got four different colours. The brown shows that an icon is not linked, the blue that it's linked, the one grey shows that it's closed and if it's just a mapping icon then it will be black and not interactive. If I use my scroll button on my mouse I can zoom in and pulling my scroll button back I can zoom out of my floor plan. So let's start adding some resources. So if I click add resource, then that by default will come in as a table. And over on the left hand margin, you can see that we've got an icon and it says table. So if I just change that to a desk, the icon changes. I can click on that and I can move it around my office. And if I use the scale, I can change the scale of that desk as well. To speed the process up I have a duplicate button and you can see those desks snapping to the grid and if I duplicate again but I want it rotated I can just double click on the rotate button and that's rotated it through 180 degrees. And likewise, I can just duplicate that desk now. If I have a group of desks and those need to be duplicated, then I can use my control button if I just hold that down. And then I can do a multiple selection, still holding the control button down. You'll notice the left hand margin has been simplified. I've only got a duplicate button or the delete. But if I hit the duplicate, that duplicates my bank of desks and I can just move those around my office space as well. If I want to start linking to resources, then I can select a desk in this case, and it takes three characters to start the searching process. And so I'm looking for the second floor. So I've got this desk on the second floor, and I can then go through my office. This time I'll use the numbers. And the same process can be used for the conference rooms or offices as well. So I can just rotate and I can change the scale of that death table and I can move that into position and I could link that to a pre-created room as well. But then we can save that and my map would be saved. If I wanted to unlink a resource because it wasn't required anymore then I could select that resource and I can simply click on the cross button. That unlinks the resource and it goes back to the brown state as telling me it's not linked. 
So let's do the save this time. So we'll click save. And we can see I've got floor two created. And all I'd need to do now to get that showing on my dashboard would be to go into the settings, into my general area, into my locations, and on my second floor, I just need to put change no map to floor two, and I can save. So now if I go back to my dashboard, I'll have the second floor available, and there are my four desks that I linked on the map screen. You'll notice any resources that were brown don't appear on the dashboard screen as they're not carrying a license at that point they're created. Thank you for watching this Go Bright Administrator support video. If further support is required, please go to our website gobright.com and visit our help centre.